You get a chance to write Giancarlo Stanton's name in the lineup, I, I think, for the first time in 73 games. What are the plans for him, Aaron, to see if he can help you in the postseason? Um, well, now it's play and, and try and rack up some innings and at bats, obviously. Um, feel like he's been doing really well and, and, and building some really good momentum here physically over the last few weeks. Um, he's been able to, you know, see a lot of live pitching um, over the last few weeks as well. Um, so I feel like he's he's in a pretty good place, um, you know, sw swinging the bat. And, and, and over the last couple weeks where he's been getting a lot of outfield reps and, and up in his agility and, and, and that stuff. So um, we're pretty encouraged we're where he's at right now. Now it's hopefully we can get him enough uh, at bats to kind of in playing time to kind of really get into a, a, a good rhythm here. Um, I'll probably go short with him tonight, probably a couple of the bats, four or five innings I'm thinking. Uh, hopefully parlay that into maybe a DH game the next day and then we'll we'll see where we're at from there. Do you need do you him, do you, I'm sorry, Don, do you need him to be an outfielder to really help in the postseason? I mean that's that's the hope, yeah. I mean, and, and that's the plan. And um, you know, he's he's been working really hard to get back to that point defensively. And um, you know, hopefully, that's my hope and that's my plan moving forward. But you know, again, first things first. And if the season saw us anything, it's it's you know we got to wait and see it, and and then we'll we'll adjust if we have to accordingly. Do you have all ten games to work with him, or would you maybe want to piecemeal a little bit because he's been out so long? No, I'll probably mix in, you know, especially if, if you know, if, if I go, you know, two at bats and four or five innings today and if we back that up with a DH tomorrow where he plays the whole game, we might have him down the next day um, and then continually build him up. But, but hopefully, um, you know, in that context, you know, especially with a couple off days that we do have uh, here to end the season. Uh, hopefully he's playing uh, pretty much all the games from here on out and in some way, shape, or form and, and able to rack up, you know, what, whether it's 25, 30 at-bats, whatever it might be. Uh, hopefully that's something that can get him into a, a decent rhythm heading into October. Alan, because of the fact that he hasn't played in 72 or 73 games, does he need more intensive at bats than say an Encarnacion and a Gary Sanchez because they have not been out as long. Yeah, m maybe. Um, the one thing with G is uh, I do feel like he's faced a lot of pitching. You know, albeit you know, obviously not playing games in the big leagues and doing that, but he's faced a lot of pitching. So I feel like hitting wise, I feel like in his mind he's in a pretty good place right now. Um, but yeah, I think that's fair to say. You know, I would like to see him get more at, at bats. Obviously, with with as much time as he has missed, as opposed to Encarnacion or Gary. Um, but um, I, I feel like he feels like he's in a pretty good place as he gets ready to start, uh, start his way back tonight.